drained two hours outside and I feel like I'm completely debilitated. Headed to the doctor's office, we're gonna see if we're pregnant or if we're not, which I think we are, but we'll see. How are you? Good, thanks. How are you? I'm good. Any complaining? Any sickness? Um, no, not really. But I took a pregnancy test. I mean, four. But today I'm pregnant, so I want to confirm that. Because, you want to do a pregnancy test? Yeah, because um, I'm supposed to get a varicella, a varicella booster, booster shot. But when I was getting the initial shots, they said that you know, if you're pregnant, you can't get it. Yeah. So I want to check. Mm -hmm. I have a seat in this room, and Doctor will be here in a few minutes. Okay. Now we wait. The pregnancy came out. To, the test came out negative. Okay. And when was your last period? Um, the end of September to like a few days in. Okay, so it's been about over a month. Is it usually regular for you, or is it like, is it like on the on the dot pretty much? Mm, here and there, a few days off here and there. Okay. But I did four tests at home that said positive. Wow. Okay. And when did you take the test at home? Um, three yesterday and one this morning. Mm, this morning was positive too. Okay. And I made sure to get one of the ones that says if it's pregnant or not. Hmm. Okay, so I'm thinking maybe repeat the test in the office on the same sample, if they still have it, if you don't mind. Okay. Just to be sure, because if you're getting three to four tests positive, then... Yeah, how is that even possible? I got four tests that are positive. Mm. All right, so the news is it is positive. We just have to wait a couple more minutes for it to come up, so... <laughs> um okay so is this your first pregnancy or no you... okay i have a daughter she's um 12. okay so um are you deciding to keep the pregnancy mm -hmm. okay so who was your gynecologist with your daughter that was not here that's in jamaica do you guys have a um gynecologist on like under the umbrella that i could see um, not really. We don't have one who partners with us. So you guys would refer me to somebody else anyways. So like, we usually, yeah, so we usually um, refer patients out to the And the first appointment would be, you said around um, eight weeks? Yeah, around two months to three months. So um, as of now, you're about four weeks in. So, um, as of now, I'm going to start you on the prenatal vitamins. Okay, question. Yes. Does the amlodipine affect um, the pregnancy? That's a good question. Blood pressure medication amlodipine shouldn't affect um, the, but I'll clarify for you. Mm -hmm. And then um, the varicella, the varicella booster. I won't be able to get that, right? You shouldn't get that. Yeah, that's an active, uh, active nurse. So, if in the meantime, before your next follow-up visit, you happen to find out about a gynecologist you prefer seeing. Usually you don't need referrals from the primary care, but it depends on insurance. So if you have someone you like, we can always give you a referral to see them. Oh, I don't, I don't really have anyone <laughs> at all. Okay. I don't even have an idea of. <laughs> okay, perfect. And do you live around here? Yeah, I live right on the corner. Okay, perfect. So we'll find someone close by here so that you don't have to go too far for them. Okay. Um, I think we can do a follow up in about. Um, you said the test is positive. I just need a few minutes. I'm about four weeks. So I went to my doctor's office. To, I had an appointment scheduled for today and I went, which worked out perfectly because obviously I had to have them check to see you know, if I'm pregnant. Even though I did four tests at home and they were positive. As of today, all of the apps are saying that I'm four weeks and six days. Damn, these are big. 90 days. What are these called? I don't know what I'm speaking. Okay, and so I got a few things to create like a little surprise basket for Dave to basically tell him that we're expecting. The color scheme is neutral because obviously I don't know what, what the sex is. I got these little booties. How adorable are those? Those are so stinking cute. Love them. 
And then I bought this little teether, obviously. Baby's not gonna use that anytime soon. I'll tell you one thing for sure. My bladder has completely given out on me. How did I not notice that before? It's just four weeks, but still. But just imagine that with the new binky, with the shoes, with the shoes, and like a onesie that says something cute like, you're gonna be a dad or something of that nature. Eight weeks um, in a day or two. First appointment. I'm hot, I'm sweaty, I'm so out of breath, but I'm literally ready to go. But this is what baby is looking like right now. I had to pull the leggings down because I feel like I'm suffocating with them over. But I need to call a number because I have to get there 15 minutes before and, well, I need to go now. Cute little fit. I have to come back and sleep for work later. But what is him? <laughs> I'm so nervous. Oh my god. Baby looks good. I got some ultrasound pictures there in my bag. Baby is measuring seven weeks and four days. I'm just like my aunt says. I come back in two weeks. Are they coming? So cute. Little heartbeat. So cute. Almost 10 weeks appointment. Can't even really see none. Huh. Okay. Head into my 12 week appointment. I'm gonna get some blood work today and I think some form of scan or is it a genetic testing? Something, I don't really know. I'm out of breath all the time. Tailbone pain. Oh my gosh, the absolute worst. Ginger ale. Only thing keeping me afloat. Now I can cook meat. Thank God. I'm not constipated because I'm taking my Benefiber. At this point, I feel normal. Except for the shortness of breath and like the pain and the load of things. I feel normal. Not sick, pregnant, but normal. And I'm so grateful. But I also remember when I was pregnant with my daughter 12 years ago, I found out when I was 17 weeks and I was fine the entire time. I can't word. Thank the God that I am because I can't take it. I can't take it. The bras that I have are fitting, which is good. I, these are some t-shirt bras. I don't know how much longer they're going to fit for, but for now, they fit and that's fine. And if anything, I feel like I'll just resort to sports bras because I'm not going to spend a lot of money only to not use them afterwards. But, um, but yeah, we're doing great.
Oh, 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 oh.